Spring is here, so we had to bring in Gary Lewis, the big guns from uh, Phoenix Perennials. we got to take care of our plants, Gary. And, uh, our plants. Indoor, outdoor plants, uh, the pests can be a huge problem, and you're going to take us through some of the most common ones and how to overcome uh, the issues. So where are we going to start today? Well, first of all, it's about keeping your plants happy and healthy. So if your plants are well watered and well fertilized, and you're just checking in on them regularly, they will be more resistant to bugs. Oh, right? so Plus, if you're point. checking in, yeah, exactly, keep them happy and healthy but also it, checking in on them you'll find a bug infestation early on and you can take care of it rather than when it's ravaging your entire areisha palm in the corner of your living room we want right? to save that areisha palm we do exactly so there's a, there's some big ones out there that are the main pests for people okay. so one of them is spider mites so spider mites are um, they can attack lots of different plants citrus is one example okay and Just so tiny things right they're here. tiny they're as big as the end of a pencil point uh, and they're kind of reddish brown and they are hide under the leaves and eventually they will make little webs that they hide under that protect them okay. and so in a bad infestation you'll see these very fine webs all over the leaves and they they crawl around on there like little spiders and they suck the juices out of the plant so what do we do so one thing is they can't um, they can't reproduce if the humidity is too high now houses indoors in the winter are super dry so what you can do is you can take a saucer of little stones fill that up with water and and put your plant on top mm, and cool. that will increase the humidity around the plant and decrease the nice conditions for them also uh, Endol or insecticidal soap. So this is a product that is insecticidal soap, but also has um, perithrins in it, which is a natural extract from chrysanthemum. So this is safe for humans and dogs and cats and stuff, but a really good thing to use to spray spider mite. And how often would we be spraying if we see we have a problem? Well, you would just spray it when you see them, especially, you know, monitor your plant to make sure, you you know, to catch it early on, and that'll okay. make it easier. The scale insect. Scale insect. So scale insect can also affect citrus and other house plants but also succulents so scales look like a little dome uh, that kind of sits right on the stems or the leaves and a little insect is under that dome mm -hmm. and uh, is sucking the juices out of the plant so again you can use your insecticidal soap or your end all because what that does is it it's got the perithrins would help which help kill the insect but also it's just got soap which covers them and smothers them okay the other thing you can do is squish them so if you feel, you know, it's actually awfully satisfying to find them on the leaf and just give them a little squish and they pop under your finger. So kind of fun, but it's not for everyone. Okay, we have options when it yeah, comes to that. We um, have options. Before we go outdoors, the mealybug. So mealybug looks like a little domed kind of scale insect, but it also creates a kind of cotton-like fuzz. And it loves to be in the little crevices of plants and on the undersides of leaves. So it looks like a little bit of cotton on your plant. And so you can use cotton again them really so you get some rubbing alcohol you can then uh, you know dab that on and then you can wipe down the uh, the plant where the insects are and the rubbing alcohol will kill them okay so we uh -huh. only have about 30 seconds let's, right. st let's talk beetles the chafer and then the Japanese beetle okay so uh, chafer beetle is eating your lawn keep your lawn and, and then the uh, raccoons and, and other creatures crows dig up and make a big mess of your lawn so keep your lawn super healthy fertilize it now water it well in the summer and cut it nice and high because the females don't like to lay eggs in healthy lawns okay so apply nematodes and the, the new um, one the jet let's jump to the Japanese the beetle. new one is the Japanese beetle it was only in eastern North America and now right here in Falls Creek is the epicenter right back here right back here they have found a population of Japanese beetles that have infiltrated our paradise here they eat everything in gardens all kinds of perennials roses fruit trees and so we want, need to keep our eye out for those and report that immediately to uh, the canadian food inspection agency so they can get it under control they have a metallic green head and coppery brown wings and they're about a centimeter long is so that an end all remedy as well that's no that's serious call for help serious bigger guns contact the canadian food inspection agency immediately because this area probably needs to be quarantined oh otherwise okay. it's just going to eat everything in gardens in the summer on the whole west coast good to know gary yeah. lewis chiming in phoenix perennials that's where you can find them thanks so much thank you hopefully we can avoid the beetle we just I moved know. into olympic village i know this is oh, yikes uh more of your time stories coming up